Do you struggle with codependency and people pleasing? If so, I've got some words for you today. Being codependent is when you rely on other people for your own value and identity and a sense of approval so that you can feel whole. Is a behavioral condition in a relationship where one person enables another person's addiction, poor mental health, immaturity, irresponsibility, or underachievement. Among the core characteristics of codependency is an excessive reliance on other people for approval and a sense of identity. Have you been there or are you there right now? Because I know that yours truly has dealt with this in the past. I lived under this whole idea of codependency for many years and people pleasing. It's, it's who I was. I didn't even know this was a thing until later in my years when someone started talking to me about some unhealthy relationships that I had. But the, the main thing about codependency and people pleasing is that is that's how you identify yourself. So when you take your power back or before you can take your power back, it's going to make you feel depleted and empty and that you're doing something wrong. And so you have to get through here first in order to get to the other side. So what I want to talk to you today about with, uh, with codependency and people pleasing is this, if you are dimming yourself so that others can feel good, you are not doing anybody any good whatsoever. I want to tell you something. You are suffering under the idea that you cannot exist beyond a person abusing you. And I know that that's probably so much easier than me just telling you that because again, many people who are dealing with the codependent issues and people pleasing, it's it's in here and we've got to get through here first, as I said before. So I just wanted to shoot over a very quick message today. Not really in depth. It's just something that was on my heart to just tell you that you are valuable and worthy and you bring so much to this world, but we can never extract that and have what you, what you have to offer if you're constantly connecting to that other person and they're draining you of everything. I don't know how to plead with you on that. I don't know how to, uh, and not that it's my place to change you. And I'm, I'm thinking that you probably have clicked on this video because you're looking for some sort of outlet or relief or somebody on the outside who may tell you something different than what you think. And I just want to tell you that I've been there and I work with a lot of people who are currently there and are trying to get out of that situation. And it is day by day. But the first thing is, is that if your core identity is connected to somebody else, they, uh, are, are going to operate out of their own senses and their own emotions and their own personality. And that's not who you are. So when you get into this place of really identifying who are you at the core and things that don't shift and move and, and, um, change, then you'll be able to, to root into something, to anchor into something that is stable and a firm foundation. So I just wanted to drop in here today and just say that you're on a path of freedom. You're on a path of healing. And if you have people in your life who are just draining you and making you feel a little crazy and that your thoughts are crazy, or here's one that I, I had back in the day, I realized um, as I was waking up from being a codependent person and a people pleaser that I didn't even have thoughts or opinions of my own. I had trained myself in such a way to please the people around me that I didn't even have my own thoughts and opinions because I was afraid that it would create controversy. Now, I didn't know that I was afraid of that and that, and therefore that's why I hadn't created my own thoughts and opinions. I um, just never really paid much attention to it until one day when I pushed a whole bunch of toxic people out of my life and I was sitting in the car driving and I realized I started having these thoughts and opinions about things, about how I felt about certain things that I had never given any thought to how I felt before. And that my friends is freeing. So all of that to say, if you're in a place of revelation and you have stumbled upon this video, I am so proud of you and I know that you are going to find your way into that freedom that you're seeking because you've already started the journey. So I just want to um, encourage you to keep going. I want to encourage you to get all the other noise out of your head over overly opinionated people, people that intimidate you. If you could just get some space between you and them, then you'll start to hear your own thoughts come in a little clearer and then you'll be able to decide for yourself what you think and what you want and also be able to identify those toxic relationships around you that are dragging you down and keeping you from, from fulfilling everything in your life that you want for you. So stay on that journey, my friend. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you all in the next video.